So let's take a look at the smoke unit and its individual parts. Uh, fully assembled, it would look something like this. Inside of the model. And the components consist of this uh, gasket and chimney. The PCB board, and that's the heating element right there. Uh, the smoke fluid reservoir which contains a small heater plate. It's made of mica. It has holes drilled in it to allow the smoke fluid to flow through it. Otherwise, the smoke fluid can just puddle up on there and then burn off very quickly. So you get a nice thick plume of smoke, but it doesn't last very long at all, and then you're constantly adding smoke fluid. Uh, inside here is an, an absorbent wicking material. Uh, it's fire retardant. And then you've got the smoke fan motor, the shroud, and smoke fan blades. So with those components uh, as individuals, the smoke fan blades, you can see here, has a flat back. And they ride up against, uh, there's about a razor blade's thickness in between the back of the fan blades and the inside of the cowling here. So one danger, one thing to look out for when adding smoke fluid is if you oversaturate, uh, one thing that's going to happen is uh, it's got nowhere else to go. And so it can flow from the reservoir over into the cowling. And then it'll get in between the back of those fan blades and the cowling itself. And because it's usually just about a razor blade's thickness in there, the viscosity of the smoke fluid can actually prevent the little motor from being able to spin the fan blades. And in that case, you'll have smoke being generated but not being puffed up and out of the stack. So when you're adding smoke fluid, for example, to a steam engine, uh, you can add it into either hole if your smokestack has two holes. Um, for example, this is a cab forward here, and if the two holes at the top of the stack on the model are above this, you can see they're both, it's all going to go to the same place, right down through that hole there and into the reservoir. Uh, different models have different chimneys on them. Uh, this one's for a diesel. Um, some of them will allow for the smoke funnel tip to actually go through the hole and like like so. And if it can go far enough and if your heating element's hot, the funnel tip can make contact with the heating element, which of course you don't want because that can melt the plastic and uh, not just mess up your funnel, but the plastic can get on the heating element and mess that up. So with a steam engine, something like this typically you're going to add smoke fluid in the funnel down the stack okay so it'll be be like that you're adding it like that uh, inside looks like that and on this particular model it's not going to let you go all the way down and touch the heating element which is a good thing um, the chimney and the gasket kind of stops you there. But uh, typically you want to add about three to four, maybe five drops, only when the smoke fluid, or only when the smoke coming out of the stack looks really thin, almost invisible. Um, but you can see here, I've added smoke fluid and typically I'll uh, tap the funnel down in there a few times. There's always some left in the stem of the funnel. But uh, you can see that there is a bubble and a viscous uh, smoke fluid layer on top of the hole. This is going to prevent the smoke from puffing up and out. It'll still generate smoke, but it's going to come out of the edges of your boiler, or out of the bottom of the locomotive. And so after adding smoke fluid, every time you add smoke fluid, just blow a quick forceful puff of air down the stack right here. 
and that will uh, eliminate any smoke fluid bubbles that might have formed. And so now you're free and clear and the smoke can flow. A diesel, uh, same procedure. Usually a diesel is going to have one or two um, exhaust ports. You can, if it has two, you can go down to either one. It's all going to go to the same place because, as you can see here, it's just one rectangle with a hole in the middle that lets the smoke fluid flow down into there. That's pretty much it. You want to add your smoke fluid using the funnel. Tap it a few times. Give a quick forceful puff of air. And uh, you should be good to go. Another danger of adding too much smoke fluid is, you know, if this is bone dry, uh, fresh installation of the wicking material, it could probably hold about 13 drops of smoke fluid. They come from the factory, our models come from the factory pre-saturated. So don't add smoke fluid. You can run it right out of the box with the on-off switch in the on position and run it around your layout, fully smoking if you like, no problem. Once the smoke starts to get so thin that you can barely see it, then you add the three to five drops uh, and blow down the smokestack and you should be up and running again. Um, so as you can see here, if you add too much, uh, it's got nowhere to go. It's gonna flow out of here and into the cowling, but also if you keep adding and adding and adding, it does have the potential to get up past the gasket sometimes. Um, if it makes it around the gasket, it will leak down onto the PCB board in this area, and you don't want that either. Uh, but hopefully this clears up the, a little bit of the mystery. Uh, and yeah, happy railroading.